Here we are. This is one of our bases. He calls this a base? There's nothing here but trees. Perhaps it's a camp. What? We have to sleep outside? Don't complain, Norma. Oh, come on! Suits me just fine. That's because you're a savage. What'd you just do? We've constructed a barrier to avoid detection by potential enemies. Whoa, cool! Well then, please, proceed. That's right. You came to Walter's aid before, did you not? Please, allow me to thank you for that as well. Too bad Wally himself never thanked us. I didn't think you were the type to hold a grudge. And quit calling him Wally, like he's your friend or something. We're heading off to retrieve the Whisper Crystal. Come inside. I offer you this place to use as you need. It's an inconvenient location with almost nothing around, but it should be ideal for hiding. Great, thanks! So Stella and Shirley... One at a time, if you would. What's going to happen to Stella and Shirley? If things continue on this course, they'll surely be used to fire the Nerefus cannon. Used? We, the Fairness, are the cannon's source of power. It springs from our very lives. What? You mean they're gonna be used like bullets? Historical records tell us that many Fairness gave their lives each time the cannon was fired. Why would they build something like that? That is precisely why it was sealed. It is a terrible, terrible device. And Vaklav, of all people, had to be the one to awaken it. 
Stella. Surely. What was your other question? I think it's about time you told us your true objective. Surely you're not showing us all this hospitality for free. Ah, oh, how perceptive. It's true Fenimore's request was not the only reason we came to your aid. The people of the water seek an alliance with you, the people of the land. Our objective, of course, is to recover Shirley and Stella from Vaklov's clutches. You seek an alliance with us? Specifically, with the Holy Rexalian Empire that's supporting you, Will. The Holy Rexalian Empire? Say, Bubbles. Why did you bring up Rexalia? And just how is it supporting Reynard? Say, Chloe. Exactly how much do you know? We know that Rexalia has secretly stationed a large number of troops on this ship. Are you saying the reason every country in the world has left this ship alone is because it's under Rexalia's control? It's merely a precaution. The legacy belongs to no nation. So what's this holy Rexalian empire? It's a monarchy in the center of the mainland. Its power exceeds that of all surrounding nations. Many consider it to be the strongest in the world. Even if we were to form an alliance, would we have a realistic chance of winning? Yes, at the moment anyway. Wow. Is that true? I wouldn't have suggested it if it weren't. Renard, we should definitely pursue this alliance. Come on, Will. All right, I'll serve as mediator. Yes! yes. You have our gratitude. I'll prepare a written message at once. This ain't over by a long shot! When I first saw how bad the odds were, I honestly thought the situation was hopeless. But now it sounds like there's still a chance. We don't have to give up just yet. You all wait here until things settle down. Things? Until the war is over. I gotta avenge my boys! I have someone I must face as well. Stella and Shirley are in danger. I won't just abandon them. War is not the place for children, and that's exactly how you're acting. This is precisely what I'm worried about. Don't you understand? You three are too emotional about Vaklov. You cannot run off on your own on the battlefield, abandoning everyone else. We would never... You wouldn't? What happened in the forest of no return? Senel, all of you, you've done extremely well. Please, relax now and leave the rest to us. Fenimore, please show them to the sleeping quarters below. Yes, sir. This way. Follow me. the beginning. We say that once a Pharaoh can display these wings, her life as an adult has begun. Everybody's Terraquist looks different. Different shapes, different colors. Can you do it too, Stella? 
Let me see. Uh-uh. Well, that just makes me want to see it more. <laughs> Maybe next time. Hmm. When I complete the Rite of Accession, I'll be able to make a much bigger Terra Chris. Oh yeah? I'll show you so much you won't even care about Stella's. Chloe? Coolidge, could I talk to you for a moment? To be honest, what Reynard said really got to me. What? That we're children? I was so concerned about myself, I couldn't see the big picture. Being that short-sighted is pathetic. Anyone would call me a child. I'm not actually a knight. Huh? The House of Valens were knights, but my family was stripped of that title. Did Stingle have something to do with that? Yes. Five years ago, he killed both my parents right before my very eyes. What? He hid his face behind that mask, but I'm sure it was him. I came to the Legacy to avenge my parents. Why are you telling me this? I just thought it was unfair for me to know about you, but not the other way around. Are you planning to go by yourself? What you're demonstrating isn't bravery, it's recklessness. Shut up. You know you don't stand a chance of winning if you just charge in there alone. Shut up! Shirley and Stella are both suffering this very moment, and if somebody doesn't do something, they will die. And you want me to just sit here doing absolutely nothing? Even if we're not related by blood, I still... You're right, that's why I'm going with you. I don't think you're the only one who's suffering. I feel loyalty to my homeland and hatred for my enemy. I'm every bit as angry as you are. I cannot stand idly by and watch these events unfold. I think we can resolve those issues Reynard was worried about. Now that we know about each other, we should be able to work better together. Right, Coolidge? Or is this just my own naive fantasy? No. No fantasy. Coolidge. Looks like our alliance came first. Yeah. Wait just a second! We're coming too! I don't know nothing about no political problems, but I do know you ain't leaving me out of all the fun. What do you know? It looks like we all have the same idea after all. We are so on the same wavelength. What idiot said we couldn't work together? Why are you doing all this? They said you could rest now. Why do you insist on going? I can't fight or do anything like that. I'm worried about Shirley, but I could never go out on a battlefield. We're just trying to do what we can. Don't you mean the only thing we can? We're probably just a bunch of clumsy, stupid kids. Are you gonna let him talk to you like that, Red? Well, it ain't just about me, Bubbles. But you know... This is who we are. You're... Besides, there's still something you can do, Fenimore. There is? Keep Shirley in your thoughts. That'll help? It's just like Shirley said. I still can't trust Auraranus. Fenimore. But I do trust Shirley. And she said not everyone behaves and thinks alike. Yeah. I'll never forgive you if you betray her trust. I'll be watching you. Alright. Thanks, Fenimore. But I... 
I haven't done anything. So, time to figure out what we're gonna do. Let us join the Alliance. We'll follow your instructions. We won't run wild or go off on our own. Fighting on the front lines, just carrying supplies, whatever. You name it, we'll do it. Pretty please. <sighs> we spent the whole night talking about it, please. We know the difference between what we want to do and what we need to do. So please, Will. The Alliance isn't even formed yet. You're getting ahead of yourselves. Meaning? I cannot agree to your request. Why not? Because this will be a war. And there's no place in war for personal emotion. Chief, please come quickly. It's Walter. What about him? What happened? We were driven back by the monsters living there. So we failed to obtain the Whisper Crystal. This will set our plans back. Is it that important? It holds the very key to our victory. Oh, 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 hey! In that case, we'll go get that whatchamacallit crystal ourselves. You? And then, once we bring it back, you can let us join the Alliance. Norma, those are two different matters entirely. No, I'd appreciate the help. It's really something we should do ourselves, but we simply don't have enough people. Consider it done! Okay, everyone. Let's go. Go where? Go where? You're getting a little uppity there, Bubbles. The Whisper Crystal is hidden in a tomb left over from the Terraces era. The place where it's located used to be an island, but now it's connected to the land. Head toward 11 o'clock from here to find it. Located at 11 o'clock used to be an island. All right, let's see. I think that would be... No way! What is it? You don't mean the man-eating ruins. That place is famous among treasure hunters as the one place you never want to go. Well, we can't back down now. Right, guys? Right. Yep. Let's go. Please, no! Anything but the man-eating ruins! Wait just a moment. I'm going with you. Are you sure? I'd get an ulcer within a day if I knew you were out there loose on your own. I'll have someone else deliver the letter. Thank you. It's reassuring to have you around. Honestly, you people.
we're here. Oh, stop making such a fuss. Just let me and Geet handle it. Huh? If it looks like I'm about to get eaten, you take my place, okay, Sunny? No. Mimi! Well, at the very least, we know Walter entered this place and returned. I don't think we need to worry so much about rumors and stories. Hey, that's right! Wally did make it back out! There is nothing to fear in the man-eating ruins! Onward! She sure flipped quick. It's not like this is the first time. Hey, Norma. You're not at all concerned about the serious injuries Walter's companions suffered? Oh, yeah.
What is this place? There's a bunch of weird statues all lined up. Oh, look! It's a bed! It looks so comfortable! Woohoo! Norma, you must be more cautious. Asleep already? <laughs> she sure is, uh, carefree. That's one way of putting it. No, something's not right here. Hmm? Ah, morning, Sunny. Now's not the time to be sleeping. There's something up with that bed. Something's coming. I think the problem is that you'd actually fall for a trap like that. What are these weird pointy things all over the place? Perhaps artifacts buried with the dead, or sentinels to watch over them. But where's the object of our search? We must have already come quite a ways in. Is that the Whisper Crystal over there? Maybe so. Sure looks like a crystal. Yahoo! Come to Papa! Wait, Red! Stop! <laughs> looks like I'm first. Whoa.
Moses, what is it? What the...? Why did Sandor's voice get so tense? Is something wrong? We're coming. Take a peek inside the casket. Slowly. What, what the...? catching some shut-eye with this place just crawling with monsters. Oh, they were all very nice. Liar. This whole thing is so obviously suspect. I don't even feel like wasting our time with more questions. Oh, come now. Let's not worry about little things, okay? They're... little. I'm getting a headache. Alright, that's enough. Let's get back on track. The reason we came here in the first place was... To get the Whisper Crystal. Right. We've searched the whole room, and that's the only thing that looks like it could be the crystal. It's a little big, but let's go ahead and carry it back. Of course. And she's okay with that nickname? Picnics are way more fun with lots of people. Picnics? I am a bit worried about bringing her along, but then again, we can't just leave her here. Everyone's okay with that, right?
Moses, take over for a little while, would you? You got it. Ambush! Oh, you brought friends. Do your friends ambush you? Well... Damn it, not now! Do you hear something strange? Yes, is it coming from the ruins? What the hell? No way! It's one of those sentinels! We're trapped! Huh? Did that thing just protect us? What is this thing? Perhaps Moritz knows something about it. Let's take it back with us. Groon, can you make it back to town on your own? Why would I go back to town? We can't get anything out of her besides her name. Could she have lost her memory? My memory. Don't worry. She can hear us, y'all. What exactly do you remember? When I woke up from my nap, I saw all of you. That just happened! Perhaps she really has lost her memory. Let's take her with us for now. Oh, you're treating me just like Miss Sentinel here. Thank you so much. She's, She's happy about, about that? that? This command room controls everything about the legacy. Wondering about that device, are you? No need to be impatient. You and your sister will be connected to it soon enough. Connected. <laughs> but first, it's time to set sail. Full speed ahead. Set course for the Holy Kingdom of Ghidoria.